यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एफ थीसी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रो लेवल सिक्योरिटी now what is role level security first of all so role level security means you secure your data at the role level so means you are going to cut down the data what user can see so to understand that let's jump on the power bi and see how can we implement that so let's jump on the power bi and we will start with one basic way of role level security and then we will take how to use the email into that so what you have to do basically you have to actually uh, understand this model first which i have so in this model uh, what i have is basically uh, i have a sales table which is joined with the item table on item id which is joined with the date on the date uh, sales date is joined on the date and then i have city id which is joined on the city id in this table and customer id on the customer id now this is a perfect star schema all the joins from dimension to fact are one to many single directional now on this schema we wanted to secure certain things and we are going to use the row level security for that so let me create a visual first of all let's say i want to create a visual state wise and i have a major net which is i am typically using and this is the same schema i am using for quite some time so in most of my video you will find that so i have this and i have one of the base major net which is nothing but uh, sum of net sales which is gross minus discount amount okay now i have this arizona alaska california and you might have new york somewhere okay now what i would like to do is i would like to create a new york manager who can only see wanted to see the data of new york so how do i want to do that so what i'm going to do is basically i'll go to uh, modeling i'll say manage roles and in the manage roles i'll create a new create a new role i can delete the older one if i want so i don't want let me delete the older one and let me create a new one so here i in the geography i want to create add a filter state and state equals to let's say new york and let me save this once i save this let me say view role as new role you can only see New York here, okay? Because New York. Now, what you can do is basically you can publish this file and you can assign this role to the users in the Power BI service. That we will show you later. Fine. Now, what we are going to do as a second step is basically I want to secure based on the email ID. Now here I can secure New York. How many roles I'll create? One I'll have New York. One I'll have this. One I'll have that. Let's say I want to secure brands and I want to. secure based on certain people i want to give let different set of brands so what i am going to do is i am going to bring in this excel sheet here and then what happens in power bi the user principal name is going to give us the email id so that user principal name can be used in rls and can be used in majors also so what i am going to do i am going to import this file and then using this file i want to secure so in this file what is happening a is getting access to five brands B is getting access to three brands, four brands basically, and C is getting access to three brands. Okay, so we are going to implement this. Now to implement this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this file, and you can download this file from uh, the GitHub. And I'll say Excel workbook, and I'll say RLS kit. I have actually done one more change, which I'm going to show you a little bit time. That I have this. RLS should have two versions, RLS and RLS Git. So first, I'm going to import the RLS Git because that's the one I've shown you, which is having a small set of data. And the reason for doing that because I'm going to play around a little bit now because I it doesn't uh, uh, take on the first row as header and I don't have an option here, so I go to transform data directly instead of going there. and i'm going to rename it this table first of all i'm going to call as rls brand and after i do the rls brand i can say use first row as header that is available under the home tab use first row as the header so i'm going to use first row as the header so i've done that also 
Now, once I'm done with the, all these, what I can do basically here is, I can say close and apply. Now what I need to do is, I need to secure by RLS, so I need to filter one dimension actually. So with the RLS brand, which dimension I can filter basically, I have to filter and I can create a new layout basically. So I can create a new layout where I can drag item and I want to filter item brand. Now when I create this join, it's going to create a many to many. Now if you want both direction, if you want the both filter direction, then you have to do this and apply it. And if you don't want that, if you want the single directional, then this is optional. You can go ahead and say single direction RLS brand filter item. Then this apply security filter in both direction is not needed. So I'm going to use that. So RLS is many to many join, but I'm asking in many to many join brand should filter item. And then I'll go to say, okay. So this is filtering this one single directional. So that's why I, by, I did not enable the board direction. Now I'll go to the modeling and I'm going to create a generic role. So I'm going to create a new role, which I'm going to call brand security. Fine. In the brand security, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do very simple thing. This is the most easiest thing to do is I'm going to go to this brand RLS, which is filtering the item brand, which is joined with the sales table. And I'm going to say email equals to there is a function user principal name. This is just as simple a statement as this one. And I'm going to say save. Now I'm going to bring a visual for you first of all. So from the item table, I'm going to bring in brand and net. And now right now every everything is coming. All the 13 brands are coming. So now let's up. So now let's apply the security. So what we are going to say view as first of all, other user brand security and the username we have to give a at the rate ymail.com and we'll say, okay. So only five is coming. Now go to view as and try B at the rate. Only four is coming. Try. C at the rate. This is coming. And if I try something like D at the rate, which is not present, nothing is coming. Okay. So now let me do is now let me do one thing is basically what I would like is, can I create an exception for D? So I say user principal name. So it just written true. The statement should written true and false. That's what we have to ensure here. So I say either user principal name or user principal name is equal to D at the rate ymail.com, isn't it? Not email. Email is not present. Email equal to D at the rate ymail.com is not present. So we say is equal to D at the rate ymail.com. This is what I want. So allow, please allow d, d at the rate ymail.com as an option. So now I go here and I say view as, I say other user, I say brand security, I try d at the rate ymail.com. And it shows me five. My expectation was 13 because I have 13 brand. I go to view at the rate ymail.com and I try a to check it out. Is it working properly? Yes, it is working. Why it's only getting five? Because this table doesn't contain more than five brands. So unless I have, I can define these kind of exception, but my table at some stage should contain those 13 brands. Means it could be a combination of user, but I should have those brands. So for that, what I've done is I actually created a new one. So here, at least in the one user, what I've done is for one user, e at the rate ymail.com, I have given all of them. And then I say, okay, I also want one exception where I want g at the rate ymail is equal to all. So I want an exception if the email ID is equal to G at the rate, if the email ID returns me all, then also give me everything. So then how do I do that? So first thing I need to change the source for this one. So let me say stop viewing and let me go to home, transform data, data source setting. 
and this file I need to change. So I say change source. I say browse again and I'll take RLS test now. I say OK. I say OK. And I say close. Apply changes. RLS brand is noted. Now we have more rows. Let's check it out. So now I have more data. So now what would happen is now let me I am not doing any change right now without doing any change. Let me test out what is happening now. Okay, I'm not going to do any change. So I say view as I say other I say brand security. I say D at the rate ymail dot com. And I can see all the 13 brand. Let me say E because E has all of them. E also have all of them. Is the previous one working ABC? Let's try B. Yes, it is working. It's showing us four brands. So this is working. Now what I do for G? G has all. G doesn't have a, even have a brand. So let's go to the manage role again. R as a brand and here we need to create one more exception. So what is that one more exception is basically. So if I'm getting a value basically uh, all, then I should allow the exception. Or like something like that max x filter So max x filter of a table RLS brand comma RLS RLS brand equals to all okay comma brand so we are saying if it is all bring in outside and if it is equal to all or I can could have said count actually there are few ways to do that so what condition I'm planning to check max x filter RLS brand RLS brand equal to all. If these two are not the if these two fail if you come here then you check if there is an all here in the RLS brand and if it is equal to but RLS brand equal to all for what all for what and Email equal to user principal name, isn't it? When the email is equal to user principal name, RLS brand equal to all and user is equal to one principal name, return me the brand and if that is equal to all or it returns account, then also could be one condition. Let's check it out. So we say save. And B is not impacted because of you. This, let's say, what is the impact on E? It's showing everything. The total is also, let's say view as G. It's showing everything. Let's check something like H. Have we committed some mistake or not? H is blank. That's working fine. Let's look at A. Fine, it is working. Let's say stop viewing. Now what we can do is, we can go to the home and publish this. So I can publish it to demo workspace. Once it is published, I can go to the app.powerbi.com and check if my report is there in the demo workspace or not. It is there. If I go here, you will see right now there is no security. I go back to my workspace. I click on the three dots in the front of this thing and I say security. And here, either in the branch security or new role, I can assign the email address. What I can do is I can say new role, test role. And you can say I'm only getting the New York data. Okay. I say go back to role level security and I say branch security, test as a role. Why I'm not seeing data because my email ID doesn't match with that one. So I'm not seeing the data. So back to security level. So we are able to test both of them. 
So now you have seen how can we use the row level security and how can we handle the all condition all together either we need to have all the email IDs or we can create you know all and handle that separately. So go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.